Hey, what's up guys, it's Mike. It's Dan. Don't go swimming in Beijing. Or you might be covering yourself with just a little bit of pee. A little now, bit of pee. Now, I know that there's pees and pools, right? Oh, come you on. Gotta, you gotta, come on. We gotta just admit to the fact that this this does happen. Uh, this this is for sure a fact. That this we is must why admit to. I, yes. I don't usually like to go to pools. Same here, same here. Because I don't care how clean that water looks. You, I mean, to think about it, kids in the adults in the pool, dude. You know, people. Even when I was little, I'm like, if I went right now, do you think people would notice? You thought that to yourself, right? Yeah. Tell the truth. Have I, you ever I, peed in a pool? I know you're gonna ask me this. I never peed in a pool. Never. You peed in a pool. When I was pool? a kid, yeah. How, how old? How? Old? Psst. No. Uh, if, there's a, if you did it before the age of. I say did it. Six. That's I acceptable. did it before the age of. Don't say ten. Twelve. Twelve. Yeah. You were like a eleven year old. Yeah. That's all. That's like eleven year olds pee in pools. That's beyond the age where you should that's, be allowed to pee. In there's pools. no age where you where you stop peeing in pools. Socially acceptable. It's acceptable. So, it's never socially acceptable. It's not no. one of those things where like, if, hey, you're six, go ahead and pee in a pool. I think if you're if you're five and below, you just don't know any better. Like you just pee in the pool. It's all right. No, no one should pee in the pool because think about it. Let me paint you a picture, right? Okay. You're literally, you're in the pool, right? Right. You're swimming. Yeah. All right. If you're swimming, some people just sit in there, they soak, right? Yeah. But if you're swimming, your face is in the water. Right. All right. And usually what's happening is that you're going to swallow some of that water. Oh, definitely. So you're swallowing pee. I mean, the, the, the water, the, the amount of chlorine, at least in America, right, in these pools, should be enough to get rid of the contaminants, right? It doesn't matter. You know I'm saying? just saying, like, if you're swimming and there's a kid, let's say you're swimming, right? Yeah. There's a kid who swims across <laughs> from you, okay? <laughs> swims across from you. Oh! And there's a stream of pee. And you're, you're in there. But by that logic, I feel like I should have, in some point in my life, Swallowed pee in a pool. No, everyone swallowed pee. But you everybody. Know, but I never noticed. So the, the of course you don't notice. The, the, it's, it's gets drowned out in the other like chemicals. contaminants of like the water. Oh my gosh. I mean, I don't want to think about these things, but you're absolutely right. You're but, absolutely right. But you know what's scary is that take a look at this picture, guys. This is what some pools look like in China in the summer. You've seen this? Have you? Ever I've seen, seen this? this. I've been a part of that. So I'm I'm very scared because this is definitely a health hazard. I mean, forget about pee. Forget about how. Forget about there's hundreds to thousands of kids here, and let's say they all, you know, a few of them urinate, then you're just sitting in pee. That itself is so dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because here's I, I was a lifeguard when I was uh, when I was younger, so yeah. you can't see if someone slipped out of their little preserver. How? And let me ask you this: How do you even have fun like this? You know, like when we were kids, like I go you to just like, sit there. You just you just not... float there. You just like floating. You're like Arr. this is the, this is the problem. I mean, I could see. So we're basically talking about in Beijing. Um, they did some sample tests or whatever around the city's public pools, and they found that there were large amounts of urea, which is a chemical found in urine, mm -hmm. and very low amounts of chlorine. Of course, because look at look at how many people there are in Beijing. Yeah. Just think about how many. You know, like when you go to a public pool in in, in the U.S. or somewhere, it's like. They have a number outside. They're like, anybody, this pool will only allow certain people. And yeah. people abide by that because it's it's unsafe, first of all, and the water can't purify the, the amount of contaminants. But yeah. Here, no one cares. Yeah. No, it's literally like when you go swimming in China, you don't go swimming. Like here, when you, when you think of going swimming, you go to a pool, there's mm -hmm. some people swimming laps, maybe. There's some people who are just like, you know, Playing, whatever. Around. But there's a lot of space. Yeah. They're playing water, volleyball, whatever. In China, you, you get in your little floaty and you just just like soak there amidst like a crowd of people. It's crazy. And you know, the people won't, I can't even blame the people for not enforcing it because I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. They should enforce it because it's a safety issue, but there's just too Well, think many, about it, yeah. right? Think about it. If you're just floating there, yeah. right? You see that many people. Yeah. How are, how can you even get out to go to the bathroom? No. So you just, you don't yeah. lose your spot. You don't want to lose your spot. Oh, yeah. And then, yo, Chinese oh, people yeah. pee like in well, the elevators. Yeah. They pee in the elevator. Like, they pee on the street, wherever. <laughs> even from, so I'm, so I, I can, probably 50% of the people in there are peeing. I mean, I don't know. I'm just but saying, like, like everyone's peeing. 
I'm, I'm sure no one's getting, I'm just saying, I'm sure no one's getting out yeah. specifically just to use the bathroom. And if you're, say, the kid, and you're in the middle of the pool, like you said, you can't even get yeah. out. You can't even, what are you gonna hop over people? Yeah. What are you gonna be That's like, That's what I'm saying. Me? No, they're peeing. So, so you're basically sitting in a giant pool of pee. Yeah, and they're point. saying that the pool owners are so stingy, they're not using like the good oh, that's um, filtration thing. system. Oh. They're not keeping their pools clean because they don't want to spend the money. Ooh. So you're literally swimming in pee. And, and it's like they could spend the money. They should spend yeah, the but money. They're not. They're not. Yo, this is like, I, I just, I take a lot of things for granted sometimes, especially like we just moved into uh, NoCal, right? Yeah. All of our complexes have pools. No one swim. at least for my complex, no one swims in there. Because your pool is the size of my bathtub. But hold on a second. What I'm saying is, yes, it's the size of my bathtub. No one swims in there, yet every single week they have someone clean the pool. Yeah, no, they have they, to. They have to. But this is just a contrast, yeah. you know, like it doesn't get used yet. They have to maintain it. But here, overpopulated people don't spend as much to maintain it. And you're, that's a lot of bacteria, man. Yeah. Dude, so so how come? So like for you, if you went back to China, I like you wouldn't just you. I wouldn't swim in there. I'm not going swimming in China. Are yes, you kidding me? All of these people go. Every single. That's how you get red eye. And and, and and as a as a as a parent, you let them go in there. Like just like well, look. I mean, you 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 take what you can get in China, and so that's that's what you can get. I mean, I've been there, so yeah. I was part of that crowd. But nowadays, now I would yeah. never do that. Never in my life. It's crazy. But let, let us know, guys, would you ever go swimming in those kind of circumstances? Thanks for watching. Later. See you.